There's nothing wrong with me. with you. Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the fuel tank so you can get to your temp sensor. First you need to pull the cover off of your gauge cluster. One screw and slide it forward. There's rubber garments that sit on those studs right here. Once you remove that, then you can grab your cluster, pull up, it's going to be a little bit tough. Again, there's a rubber garment on that. Slide it forward, get it off of the studs. There would be one connector in the back. It'll have a clip on it. It'll be right under that rubber boot. Remove that, then we can move on. Next, you need to remove the coil cover. It's on the driver's side. Should just be one screw. Once you remove that, we'll have access to the fuel line. Just pry up on the bottom, and it should pop out. Next, we need to remove the seat. Just turn your key, your seat should come loose. That way we can get to the fuel tank bolts. Next, we need to remove the seat. Just turn your key, your seat should come loose. That way we can get to the fuel tank bolts. They are 12 millimeter. Once you remove those, then we'll start removing the fuel lines. You probably don't have to do the extra by pulling the stuff out. I just did it so I wouldn't lose it. Now back to where we pulled off the ignition cover. You can see a fuel line in there. and I believe there's something zip tied to it. I can't remember. Oh, I know what it was. There's a connector in there that you need to unplug. Now if you see this little red tab, Pry that off, that's a retaining clip for your fuel line. As you can see, it's removed. Once you pull it off, you just pull the line to the back of the bike. Now we're going to go back up to the top of the fuel tank and remove the top line. It was a little bit stiff for me to take it off so I had to use a screwdriver and go around it. Then I was able to free it off of it. I'm under the impression it's probably never been removed. The bike's a 2007, so. It's been on there for a few years. Right behind there you can see that connector that goes to your fuel line or your fuel gauge. Mine's different because I have everything ran to the fairing so I had to modify it but you'll just disconnect it. Now to remove the fuel tank you raise up on the back end grab where I'm showing you right now and wiggle it to the back of the bike. Eventually it'll pop off. And right there you should be able to see those little 
rubber knobs. That's what the fuel tank sits on. Right under it, where my hand is, is where your temp sensor is. Remove that plug. Open the radiator cap. And they usually tell you to drain all of the fluid. I didn't want to go through that. So I decided to get a turkey baster. That way I could remove the coolant out of the housing just to get it low enough so it wouldn't drip whenever I removed the sensor. Worked out pretty well. Now you need a tw or 17 millimeter to remove the uh, thermostat or the sensor. Use both hands so you don't break that housing. I went ahead and put Teflon tape on the threads. Probably don't have to do it, but that's just the way I did it. That way I can guarantee it won't leak from it. Don't have to use a lot, just one winding. Right there is a rubber ring. Make sure that's still there. If not, you'll definitely lose antifreeze. You'll start blowing it out of it. Once you get that tightened up, I'm not sure what the specs say. I just snugged it up real good. Do everything in reverse. Put it back together and make sure you fill your antifreeze back up before you put the tank on. Then you should be good to go. Hopefully that helps anybody trying to remove the fuel tank. Thanks for watching.